Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Matt. And today I wanted to talk about treating language learning as a journey and not as a destination. And you may have heard of this idea before, you know, oh, treat life like a journey, not a destination and kind of this tired idea, but it's actually really appropriate in the context of language learning. So, you know, I think for a lot of people, they think about language learning definitely in this context where they're learning Spanish and they need to be fluent in Spanish, right? Or whatever language. And the funny thing about it is that when you think about other skills, you very rarely think about it in that context. So for example, if you're learning an instrument like guitar, um, you know, you don't think about it in the context of, I need to reach a Jimi Hendrix level of skill before I enjoy things or I feel successful, right? Learning an instrument is a constant journey. It never really ends. You're always getting better. And then the, the, you know, the more skill that you have, the more you can do and thus have more fun and explore different areas. And language learning is the same idea. Now, I understand that language learning has a finite level of, of material, right? There's only so many words to learn. There's only so many grammar concepts out there. But I think it would be a, you know, helpful to think about it in that context versus this very rigid idea of reaching that, that end target. So, you know, when you think about language learning in the context of a journey, things become a little bit less stressful and, and a lot more enjoyable. And it's not to say that, you know, don't, uh, you know, try to meet, meet your goals or targets or routines, but it just kind of puts like a, a different level of energy in the, in the air when you're learning, right? Because every single victory that you have with language learning, whether that's you spoke for the first time or you were able to read a newspaper for the first time or whatever, th those victories mean a lot more. And there's like less of this stress of, reaching that end target. Um, you're just enjoying things. You're getting better. You're enjoying the language and, 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 and just accepting and enjoying where you are at the moment. And, you know, as time goes on, you can do more in the language. That means that you have the flexibility to explore different areas. And obviously with more skill, enjoy the language more because you can do more complex and advanced things. And, and just having that idea, I think is just, is very helpful, right? And, and it might not seem like it, but you know, the better mood you are while doing this skill, no matter how small, is gonna help you to have more results, right? And enjoy the process, lower the downside risk of quitting. And, you know, that's like the really important thing in the end of the day. The other thing about this end goal concept is that you never really know when it's going to end. Um, because, you know, obviously people's definition of fluency can be very varied, but if you think about it, you know, the the upper end of that goal can be very extreme, right? Like you can reach a point in language learning where, you know, all you're really doing is trying to minimize your accent and really minimize uh, grammar mistakes. And, you know, um, for a lot of people, they don't really want to get to that level. Um, and, uh, you know, it may not even be worth it with regards to your goals. So, you know, for example, there's people that live in, in countries that they've been living there for 10, 10, 15 years, and they still have an accent. They, um, and they use the language every single day. They still make some grammar mistakes. And it's not to say that they're not improving, but you know, that curve of progress is definitely starting to flatline, right? For every hour of effort they put into the language, whether that's study or whatever, um, you get a lot less out of it. Now, if you've already reached that high level um, and you're just living your life in that foreign country, then it's less like work or effort, right? Because you're just living your life and using the language. But, you know, in the context of like studying something, um, you, you get a lot less out of it, right? And hopefully you get to a point where you don't really need to study a foreign language, right? You're just reading. You're just living in that country and you're getting better, right? And it doesn't matter that the curve has flatlined because you've already reached this high level of skill where you're enjoying things and you incrementally get better. Um, but like I said, if you thought about it in that context of an end goal, um, where, where does it end, right? Where does it end um, in terms of how good you should be, right? Do you need to be flawless in the language? Um, in a lot of cases, you don't. And the thing is, when you think about it in that context of a journey, um, you know, it just gives you a lot more flexibility too, right? Um, because I think there's some people that they want to they learn another language, but they, they feel like, ah, I'm not, I'm not 
fluent yet. I can't, I can't do this. Um, or I'm afraid of losing all this effort and time that I put in to this first language. Well, it depends on the context, but you know, don't be afraid to go explore those other languages. You know, the language isn't going anywhere. Chances are you can probably pick all that material back up pretty quickly. You might be a little bit rusty, but it's, it's not going anywhere. Um, and you know, if you think about it in terms of that, um, that clear concrete target, there's going to be instances where, you know, you, you may never ever get out of, of learning that language because like I said, the upper end for that is, is very high. Um, so it's important to define, you know, what is fluency, right? What is your end goals? And, and I've talked about this many times because if we know what we're aiming for, now we have kind of this context of, you know, what fluency means to us, right? And we want to reach that target, but we don't want to think too obsessively about it. Um, um, and we want to just enjoy the journey. So this is what I had to say. Um, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.